Good afternoon, everybody. We made it to Monday. Almost done, right? See, the great part, the great part about our show, it's 4 o'clock. So your, yes. day, your Monday's yeah, pretty much over. I already made it through. And if you've had a good day, we'll just make it better. We'll keep it going. And if you had a bad day, we'll make it better. Hopefully. Hopefully, Hopefully make it better. But uh, a lot going on. We got the Iditarod, obviously, is underway. And we'll, uh, we'll hang out with some celebrities who I uh, ran into during the ceremonial start on Saturday. And I didn't mean to. I was just standing there, and they just popped up. So yeah. I had a microphone and a camera, so I said, why not film it, right? <laughs> so anyway, we'll also check the latest standings for you as well on the Iditarod coming up here in just a little bit. Yeah, those teams are off. We also have a story for you about a father and a daughter that have a special bond. The gift that she gave him after he said he didn't want it. Oh, well, <laughs> what, what, what was that? that was, to me, that was like uh, Brussels sprouts back in the day. I'd have oh, yeah. Coleslaw. No, I, don't, I don't want any of that. <laughs> I'll pass. But uh, anyway, but uh, and, uh, the weather was really cold on Saturday, but it, was, it wasn't too bad in the sun. Yeah, because I was right there, which was really cool with the, all the mushers and everything. But it was, oh my gosh, it was cold. <laughs> below zero, yeah, it was about yeah. four below yep. downtown when the Iditarod started. Beautiful though, gorgeous mm -hmm. conditions for the afternoon, and we have that sunshine back again today. Uh, here's a beautiful shot of the Two Gatch Mountains here on the east side of it. All right, thanks a lot, Melissa. We'll check in with you in just a little bit. Here are your four top headlines at four. A 72-year-old was shot and killed in Tanana. Alaska State Troopers are calling the death a homicide. They were called Friday afternoon that Francis Edgar Roberts had been shot. Roberts died. He's only seven, but he didn't hesitate when his brother fell down a cliff. He risked his own life to save his baby brother. That's up next. Happy Monday, everybody. Well, while trying to rescue his little brother, a seven-year-old fell off a 100-foot cliff. He still managed to pull his three-year-old sibling out of the water. Hannah Gonzalez spoke to their mom about the near-death experience. And yeah, welcome back, everybody. Happy Monday. And when I say happy Monday, Melissa has some happy weather. Jazz hands, everybody. <laughs> yeah, we have great weather. <laughs> yep. A beautiful weekend. Still seeing that. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, she went against her father's wishes, and now he's grateful. And Gabriella Vidal reports on a secret a daughter kept from her father for eight months. Aw, I can't believe she didn't tell him. That's pretty cool. Eight months she kept the secret. That would be so hard to keep that a secret for that long. I can't do that for like 10 seconds. I, I couldn't keep secrets. But right. she probably doesn't. will never regret it, obviously. Oh, no, no. She's got yeah. another one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that works. All right, the Oscars are just right around the corner, as we know, we were talking about it. Oh, and if the early awards... 61 years old. Well, a new movie based on a theme park feature and a legendary band kisses a road goodbye. Here's Donya Backus with Your Eye on Entertainment. Watching Alaska's news source. I did a rod. Mushers and their dogs are making progress today. One day after the official restart this morning, Ryan Reddington was the first into Rainy Pass. He decided to use the checkpoint to take a rest with his dog team. Jesse Holmes was a few mushers behind, but he decided to do something different. How many dogs do we have? 14. 14. Leaving here with 14. Going to just be passing stay? through here, please. You're nope, gonna I'm going to pass right through. Pass grab right some through? straw on my drop bags. A few teams chose to rest at Rainy Pass or nearby, while a few others flew through on their way to Rhone. Earlier in the morning, Cruz caught up with uh, Khadijo Dieter. She talked about whether her team gets amped up while resting at uh, on the trail or if it's only at the checkpoints. Yeah, I like it up there. Sometimes they will get all rowdy because they, like, think that we're going to camp, you know? Um, they can kind of tell, like, if I'm trying to pull them off on some track. Um, once they have figured out that, like, that's what we're doing is we're going to go over here and camp, they'll get, like, pretty excited. But, no, in checkpoints, they're really the most animated. Over there. And uh, let's take a look at the current official standings. We got uh, 13 mushers have come and left Rainy Pass. The first one left just before 11 this morning. That was Jesse Holmes, Brent Sass. Richie Deal and Kelly Maxner weren't far behind. Ryan Reddington, who was first into the checkpoint, was the 10th to leave. He got back on the trail around 2 this afternoon. Now, to stay up on the date on all the latest Iditarod happenings between newscasts, check out the live blog at alaskasnewsource.com. All right, Melissa's in the Weather Center with a look at those trail conditions. How cool is that, Melissa? Yes, yeah, so far, so good. When it comes to weather, no, see the next couple of days. It's actually what we would expect. It is perfectly normal for us. Don't here. No. you don't. No, so this is the norm. This is, <laughs> this is the yeah, norm. Yeah, because every time you always say, Dave, this is not normal. 
Yes. Yeah, for the last year, it's felt like so much of our weather has been abnormal, but uh, we can just enjoy the sunshine uh, heading into March. As they say in Young Frankenstein, Abby normal. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, thanks a lot, Melissa. All right. Uh, a world leader known for his humility and kindness, former President Jimmy Carter is now receiving hospice care in his hometown. Eva McKinn talked with the locals about his legacy. Please. Carter's niece says the former president is surrounded by family after deciding to forego further medical treatment and enter hospice care at home. All right, Saturday was my first I did a rod, so I broke out the camera, the microphone, and headed downtown on Saturday and talked to fans, politicians, and Marines. That's coming up on the All Good News. Play I did a rod. You're watching Alaska's News Source. Oh, oh welcome back, everybody. Oh, oh well, I'm sorry. What was I saying? I'm talking. I'm talking too much. It's your turn. I was just so excited uh, <laughs> because Iditarod is obviously underway. So uniquely Alaskan. And Dave, this was your first Iditarod, right? Down yes. restart. I was so excited for you to get to go downtown. You had that press pass. You yes. had full uh, liberty to be inside the shoot there. How was it? It was cool. You know, we uh, Alaska's news source, obviously, I had the jacket. I just walked. I was just, like, next to the dogs, these mushers that are going to spend the next 11 days on trail. Uh, it was really cool. And so, and then the people there were amazing. I want to say hello to all the people uh, again. Uh, they were so nice. And I just set up my camera, and next thing I know, it's better to be, uh, it's better to be lucky than good sometimes. And so, <laughs> check it out. I talked to a lot of people. Welcome to the 51st ceremonial start of the Iditarod. Dogs, humans running with dogs, humans packed in taking pictures, cool doggy booties, mushers like Greg Vitello getting ready to go. Say hello to all my family back home. Thanks for support, and uh, I'll see you in uh, 11 days. Did I mention barking? Yeah, lots of excited pooches and kids in hats, goggles, and even on shoulders to see all of this. <laughs> what do you think about the cats this year, the cats in the, in the race? I didn't know there were cats in the race. There's no cats in the race. <laughs> I was just. Ruben Mozilla. Gnome or the moon? Boom. <laughs> Who? Go, Katie Joe. Who's Katie? I have no idea. My well, can I say hi to my deceased mom and dad? Yeah, well, will they see it? Marley Munger Musher. Faster. Marley Munger Musher. <laughs> it's hard to say. Marine Maldonado Musher. One more time. Marine Maldonado Musher. Yes. There you go. Musher or musher? I was. I think I kept oh. screwing that up. Oh, it's definitely musher. Okay. Yeah, sure. they're definitely mushing. Is it musher or musher? Musher. I know. I kept saying it wrong. I've only been here seven months. Well, Senator. you better get it right. I know. Mushy because out mushing's there. like you're, you're pressing something against. Yeah. Like, or mashing. Mashing. Yeah. A, yeah. a potato. I got yeah. Them potato or potato. Yeah, yeah. There's no such thing as having too much fur at the Iditarod. Guys, I was hoping to meet a character or two. Do you know anybody that might fit that description? I guess me. <laughs> and him. <laughs> <laughs> What's closer, gnome or uh, the moon? Russia. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's your name? Mary Peltola. Mary, it sounds so familiar. Can I get your first name? Lisa. Lisa who? Lisa Murkowski. You look familiar, Friend Lisa. And lover of all things I did Iditarod. Well, good, and you yes. look you look great. My right hand's no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, I did, did, I did, I did the Iditarod trail. Mush, mush, mush on you Malamutes. Hi, dog, hi, dog. How do you like that? I'd like it. One more time. <laughs> mush. Mush, mush, mush on, on you, you Malamutes. Hi, dog. Hi, dog. <laughs> What'd you think about all the dogs? Yeah. Okay, one more time. Hi. M mush, 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 mush on, on you Malamutes. Hi, dog. Hi, dog. Oh. High five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And that's I did, I did it on. the all good news. That's right. So fun. <laughs> I love it. She came up to me. I was just standing there. She just said, what are you doing? Yeah, and I said, nothing. You? I said, and then I just, uh, <laughs> you know, and they, and uh, she was really fun. So it was uh, a big thanks to them. And also the Murrow family there at the end there. She had a lot of people there. Uh, but uh, yeah, fun. Lisa Murkowski, I want to thank her and her handlers and also uh, Mary Peltola. Mary, Mary wasn't sure how to take me. <laughs> Are you being serious or joking right yeah, now? Yeah, she tried to be serious at first. I said, no, 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 we're just going to have a little fun. Yeah. She but she was great. And uh, big thanks. And they were both sports. So uh, big thanks to those guys. So Definitely shows the fun spirit there of the... Uh, oh, it was a blast. And the Western guys in the furs and everything was, yeah. was a lot of fun. So. Meant to be fun. And for complete I did our coverage, keep it right here on Alaska's News Source. We'll keep you up to speed on um, where those mushrooms are headed and uh, how they're doing on the trip. Yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> thanks. Um, all right, here's Nora O'Donnell with what's coming up at 5. Thank you.
three in a row. Temperatures will get back down to those mid 20s and teens overnight. But a really nice stretch of weather heading into March and April. It is our driest time of the year. So uh, we have a lot more sunny days, hopefully, to look forward to. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to be grilling and chilling. <laughs> my back. No, no. Still, still a little, still a little yeah, chilly for that. You can do it. All right. Uh, ski joring in Alaska is usually with dogs, but in Colorado, they do it a little differently. They use horses. So this weekend in Leadville, as the Stopping traffic. Some endangered whales close to the Cape Cod Canal, but people on shore got a once-in-a-lifetime view. Mary Salazar tells us about the right whales. The opportunity. All right, car chases and careless drivers. And Melissa, go have another look at our forecast. Thanks for watching. We'll be right back. You're watching CBS 5 at 4.